Did you know that the wheel is mankind's greatest invention after fire and that the oldest wooden wheel ever found was discovered in Slovenia? Stick with us as we explore this beautiful nation with a prime location in the center of Europe. These are the top 10 places to visit in Slovenia. Number 10. Maribor Maribor is Slovenia's second largest city with its position near the Austrian border. It is renowned for its abundant outdoor recreation facilities as well as the wine-growing region that surrounds the city. There's so much to see and do in this gorgeous city. The oldest vine in the world was planted in Maribor, also known as the City of Wine. More than 400 years ago, Lent, a picturesque riverbank area along the Drava River where where ships used to be unloaded in the past is the epicenter of the city's wine culture. Don't forget to check out Maribor's main squares, Slomkov Square, Main Square, and Castle Square, which are all filled with charm and beautiful old buildings. The majority of Maribor's tourist locations are concentrated here, making it the city's main tourist hub. You can stroll leisurely around the square in the summer and take in the fountain and flower beds, and in the winter, stop by one of the historic cafes to savor a fragrant cup of coffee. Number 9. Copper Copper, one of Slovenia's oldest coastal communities and a significant port, is a coastal area that was formerly a part of the Venetian Empire formerly known as Capria. Later, it was incorporated into Yugoslavia. Koper is a small city, but it is still worth a quick trip because of its historical sites and narrow boutique-lined streets. Koper is the less popular place today, but you can bet it still has a lot of fun things to do. You can visit Tito Square, the city center, explore the recently renovated Praetorian Palace, or climb Campanile's bell tower for breathtaking views of the city below. By the Koper Marina, there is a public beach with free access that is great for swimming or just relaxing with a picnic in the sunshine. Number 8. Kranjska Gora Outdoor lovers will definitely be fond of Kranjska Gora. The Slovenian resort of Kranjska Gora, which is in the country's northwest, is well liked by fans of winter sports. Visitors who ski and snowboard in the Vitrank resort fill Kranjska Gora in the winter, taking advantage of the area's regular snowfall and challenging terrain. But with strenuous treks and the option to rent mountain bikes nearby, summer is just as enticing. Kranskagora is a picturesque place to unwind, relax in posh hotels, and dine at world-class restaurants drawing tourists from all over the world, even if you're not into outdoor sports. The Triglav National Park's Kranskagora should be at the top of your list because it is only a short drive from Ljubljana, Slovenia's capital city, as well as the country's primary international airport. It will inspire the explorer in you because of the natural treasures that are dispersed around. Number 7. Selje Selje is a tiny town nestled on the banks of the Savinia River and is one of the oldest cities in the entire country of Slovenia. The best way to spend a day in Selje is to take a stroll through Old Selje, the city's historic center, where you can stroll along cobblestone streets, eat at traditional restaurants, and take in the city's traditional architecture. Walk among the historic relics while learning about Selje's past, and you will have wonderful experiences. Give in to the modern metropolitan hustling and bustling, or seek out environmentally friendly experiences in nature which are within a short distance from the town center. The town center and Celia Castle are surrounded by a grassy space where you can go for a walk. The Green Gold Fountain, a well-known tourist destination, is located in the adjacent hop-grown town of Alec. Did you know that the town of Celia maintains about 10,000 town trees, 13 of which are over 100 years old and are therefore protected? There is far more to the city than meets the eye. Number 6. Putoi Putoi is one of Slovenia's oldest towns, having been inhabited for more than 2,000 years years. Although the city's history dates back to the Stone Age, the Roman era is when it reached its height. The town has a lot to offer, including an intriguing history, stunning architecture, wonderful monuments, a thriving culture, and ideal places to unwind. The Roman-era Orpheus Monuments, the Petui Grad, or Castle, with its collection of artwork and artifacts, the 1907-built Town Hall, and the Dominican Monastery from the 13th century are one of the most popular attractions today. The therapeutic thermal springs in Petui and the early carnival celebration celebration known as Karantavanye are also noteworthy ways to spend your visit. The city is a must-see, so do yourself a favor and add Petui to your itinerary for Slovenia. You won't be let down. Number 5. Peran Peran is a popular Slovenian vacation destination located on the Adriatic Sea's Adriatic coast. Given that it is actually a part of the Venetian Empire for more than five centuries, you won't be surprised that this place has an Italian feel to it. Peran is a tiny city, but it is charming, old, and beautiful. History of 
aficionados might be interested in visiting sites like the Church of St. George, the city's oldest structure, the Venetian house, and the main square, Tartiniev Dirk, or Tartini Square. Alternatively, you can step off one of the piers and take a cooling dip in the Adriatic while still on top of the city walls. Haran is also well recognized for its vibrant main plaza, historical fortifications, and a bell tower in the Venetian style. Be sure to go by the seaside because it's also popular for its proximity to beaches. Number 4. Postoina Postoina may be a little town, but it is a must-visit location if you're interested in unusual sights and beautiful surroundings. With the startling 20 kilometers of chambers, passageways, and galleries, some of which have ceilings above 50 meters high, Postoina is well-renowned for its enormous cave system. A beautiful and a great starting point for exploring the hidden underground world are the Postoina Caves. You can even make a train tour through some of the cave systems before walking through some of the more fascinating portions of the underground setting. Both youngsters and adults will enjoy exploring the caves. Did you know that a medieval castle located north of Postoina was carved out of the side of a cave? It created an amazing feat of engineering that must be seen to believed. Apart from its cave system, Postoina is generally a beautiful location to view otherworldly scenery and is unquestionably worthwhile a visit. Number 3. Triglav National Park Triglav National Park is the perfect place to go if you want to get outside and enjoy some of Slovenia's breathtaking natural landscapes. The Julian Alps, which make up the majority of the park, are notable for the towering Mount Triglav in the serene waters of Lake Bohemia. It also has so many interesting animals and flora. Driving across the highest mountain pass in Slovenia, the Versic Pass, and through the Soka Valley is one of the best ways to spend the day in Triglav National Park. You'll get lots of chances to go trekking, take in the scenery, see waterfalls, and stop by some World War I sites along the way. You can undertake the Mount Triglav trek for breathtaking vistas, or you can take a simple way out and take the Vogel Cable car ride. If you're daring, you can also ascend a winding staircase to view the Savika waterfall or cross the Vintgar Gorge on a wooden footbridge from the 19th century. Another well-liked activity is rafting on the Soka River. Number 2. Lake Bled Lake Bled is a picturesque body of water, and even though the emerald green lake isn't very big, the little island in the middle of the lake, which is home to a 17th century church, is what majorly draws people to the location. The highlights of Lake Bled can easily be seen in a single day. You could rent a rowboat to explore the water, go horseback riding along the lakeshore, or hike about 15 minutes to the 17th century Bled Castle, which offers stunning views of the lake below. Lake Bled is a wonderful relaxation spot, and even though it can get busy in the summer, it still feels calm and quiet, so we'd recommend this as the perfect getaway. Number 1. Ljubljana Slovenia's capital, Ljubljana, is among the best destinations to travel to. Despite being considerably smaller than most European capitals, Ljubljana has a distinct charm that makes a trip there worthwhile. Ljubljana is actually a lot of fun. It has great Christmas markets, outstanding dining options, stunning structures, bordering the streets, and a homey atmosphere are all to be expected. Ljubljana is a culturally rich city. It has many theaters, museums, and galleries, and one of the oldest philharmonic orchestras in the world is located there. The wheel is frequently regarded as mankind's greatest invention after fire, and an interesting fact is that the oldest wooden wheel ever found was discovered in the Ljubljana marches. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site just south of the present-day city and the wheel, which is more than 5,000 years old is currently on display in the Ljubljana City Museum. Tomastovia, sometimes referred to as the Triple Bridge, is a popular destination in a city where three charming bridges cross the river side by side. Ljubljana is overall a lovely sight to behold and definitely worth a visit. Would you like to visit Slovenia? Which of these places would you like to visit first? And if you have visited any of these places, what was your experience? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for more awesome content.